It's what fun is, and kids love it. Dick Andrew, the executive vice president of marketing for Lagoon, said the school uses the amusement park as an end-of-year activity. It's even become an end-of-year tradition for many schools throughout the Mountain West area. While it's mostly high school and junior high students who take advantage of the discount tickets and day off of school, Andrew said there are also a few elementary school students who make the trip. But because the kiddie rides are closed on school lagoon days, not many of the younger students go. Even so, it could be against the law to charge a student in kindergarten through sixth grade for the trip on a school day. Carol Lear is the Utah State Office of Education Director of School Law and Legislation. She said it can be confusing to interpret the law for middle schoolers where sixth graders are combined with older classmates, but the law remains the same. The Utah Constitution states that elementary schools should be free, except for special fees for before and after school programs. In the handbook issued by the school districts, includes textbooks, musical instruments, and field trips must be fee free. Several schools in Utah County that include the sixth grade have advertised a Lagoon Day for this month, but the trips include fees for the bus ride and for the entrance fees into Lagoon. The activity is not required, and one principal said they provide assistance for students who can't afford the trip. But Lear said some parents may feel too embarrassed to admit they can't afford even a $2 fee for a bus.